Okay, we got flex tape. Ten of these, um, ten of these flex tapes. Our friend Crazy Russian Hacker has been doing a lot of tests with this. I will leave a link in the description for his channel and the video that he did the test with these. It was actually pretty cool. So that gave me the idea of shooting them, seeing if they're bulletproof or not, and see how many of them it's gonna take to stop a bullet. Hopefully they'll stop at least a couple rounds. For first, we're gonna do this little tiny 22 long rifle. Hopefully it stops the 22. That way we can move on to the bigger uh, calibers. But we don't know, that's why we're here to find out. Just very ready. I'm ready. Okay. So ten of them, and it's eight inch wide and five feet long. Whatever the mat for that is. That's very. Here we go. And I'm using a Walter P22. A little closer. We are clear. Well, it didn't make it to the back, which is a good thing. So we went in and out of the first one. This, ooh. It stopped on the second one. It did not make it out of the second one. And that's a 22 long rifle using a 40 grain uh, projectile. All right, not bad. For start, there's hope. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the um, nine millimeter. Okay, for the nine millimeter, I'm using a basic 115 full metal jacket and using a Glock 19. Just very ready. I'm ready. Okay, there we go. You think it's how many? All. No. Yeah. I think it's gonna go up to here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think it'll stop in seven. I think. <laughs> I got, uh, tr got through all. It's possible, I don't know, we'll see. All right, fire in a hole. Oh, it did go through all? <laughs> Clear. No, it didn't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It hit the seven one. Wait, there's nothing in here. So it looks like it looks like it hit the seven one and it stopped. One, two, three, four, five, six. Went through six of them. And of course the first ones. It hit the seventh and it stopped. I don't think it's inside of it. I think it hit the, oh wait, no, maybe it is inside. It's possible it's inside, but we'll cut this open later. So, cause I don't see anything on the ground. Let's shoot it one more time with the nine millimeter so, since it doesn't take that much work. So the last three did not get harm. It's possible kind of curved off a little bit, but we'll shoot it one more time to be safe and then we'll move on to the other round. Okay, round two for the nine millimeter. Fire no. We're clear. It did hit this ninth one, but I don't see any exit from the back. But there, I also don't feel anything inside of it. I think it's hollow inside of this thing. I don't know if the bullet is stuck inside the sticky stuff and it's not moving, but I'm not feeling anything. So we're gonna have to open these up later, see what's going on. So it looks like about seven, eight of these uh, will stop. Uh, nine millimeter we'll still open them later see if we find anything uh we'll move on to a 357 magnum next and i think that'll kind of do it it might go through all of it and uh, we'll just stop it there okay next round surprisingly i haven't shot this 357 magnum for a long time i kind of missed it so i was like let me shoot it and i'm going to be using these full metal jackets 157 grain in case anybody wants to know and let's see what happens Jasper, you ready? I'm ready You think we'll go through all of it? Yes <laughs> Alright, we'll find out now Clear 
So it looks like went in, came out, in and out of this one. It started curving a little bit to the right. So this is the eighth one that it hit, but uh, it looks like it either curved off and went out, or it's, it's probably stuck inside. I'm having a hard time telling because I think the bullet is getting stuck inside this thing. I'm not sure, we'll see. But uh, let's do it one more time to be safe with the 357 Magnum. Rigo is back in the picture. Rigo, can you please get out of the shot? Okay, so <clears throat> they're stopping bullets. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it seems like all of these rounds are stopping around uh, between seven and eight of these rolls. There has to be something inside of these, right? Let's bring out a Desert Eagle. That will be the last shot. Of course, I think the Desert Eagle will do it. Just for fun, we'll shoot that. It'll be interesting if it gets stuck. I don't think so, there's no way. Okay, Desert Eagle. Rigo, move. Let's go, Rigo, let's go. Come on, come on. No, I'm not, I don't wanna play, get out of the way. Get out of the way. All right, so for the next test, we'll do this Gold Desert Eagle 50 AE. And thanks to Underwood Ammo for hooking up these uh, bullets for us. That's very ready? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Clear. What happened? Please tell me it went through all of it. No way. <laughs> no way. It stopped the fight at 50 AE. Wow. This stuff is pretty tough. It's probably stuck inside those uh, the glue area. This is unbelievable. I can't wait to open this one up. It's <laughs> it's amazing. It stopped uh, Desert Eagle 50 AE. This is the same gun that we shot the car from the roof and the bullet went through. Rigo, two minutes. <laughs> Sorry. That's it for the <laughs> guns because I honestly didn't think it was gonna stop at 50 AE. It did. That's incredible. Wow, some strong stuff over here. Okay, so this is the one that captured that 50 caliber. Let's open it up. Oh, no way. I got the 50 and the uh, nine millimeter in here. This is unbelievable. Check that out. <laughs> this is awesome. Two, it's like two for one. There it is. So the other ones most likely do have the 9mm in them too. And the bullets are sticky. FYI. But they stopped it. Here's that. Is it focused? Yeah, yeah I think so. There's the 50 AE. And there's the 9mm. Wow. Flex tape for the win. <laughs> I did not think that this was going to happen. Amazing. All right. There you have it. Those are the results for the flex tape versus the 50 caliber. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next time.